Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On Tuesday, March 14th, South Korea's supersonic fighter jet, the KF-21, achieved a significant milestone by completing its first aerial refueling test, as announced by the Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA. Prototype number 5 conducted the test, taking off from the third training airfield in Sachun, South Gyeongsang Province. During the test, an Air Force KC-330 tanker aircraft successfully connected a refueling rod to the KF-21 mid-flight, injecting fuel into the fighter jet. The primary objective of the test was to evaluate the impact of turbulence during aerial refueling on the KF-21 and ensure seamless procedures for connecting and disconnecting with the tanker aircraft. According to DAPA, this achievement is expected to increase the operational radius of the KF-21 by approximately 50%, enhancing its endurance and payload capacity. This improvement is set to optimize the aircraft's operational performance, particularly for long-distance missions, thus bolstering the combat capabilities of the Air Force. No Jimon, head of DAPA's Korean Fighter Project Division, revealed plans for further tests on the KF-21's aerial refueling capabilities at various altitudes and speeds, with approximately 60 trials scheduled by March 2025. To date, six prototypes of the KF-21 have been constructed and subjected to tests evaluating various capabilities, including supersonic flight and air-to-air -air weapon separation. The development of the KF-21, also known as KF-X, Korean Fighter E Experimental, is a collaborative effort between South Korea and Indonesia with the aim of producing a next-generation fighter aircraft. Initiated in 2015 in partnership with Indonesia, the KF-21 project seeks to replace the aging F-4 and F-5 jets of the Air Force. Despite challenges, such as an investigation into attempted technological data theft by two Indonesian engineers and delays in Indonesia's financial contributions covering 20% of the total project cost estimated at $6.5 billion, DAPA underscores the necessity of completing these payments by 2026. Despite these hurdles, progress has been made in the KF-21's development. Multiple prototypes have been constructed and successfully undergone various tests, including supersonic flight and weapon separation trials. The KF-21 is equipped with advanced technologies such as cutting-edge sensors, communication systems, and avionics. The first production model of the KF-21 is slated for delivery to the Air Force in the first half of 2026, representing a significant advancement in South Korea's air defense capabilities. That's all for now. See you later.